Hey everybody, Laura Nichols. Welcome to today's video. I want to share with you something today um, that's happening for me that's really powerful and just kind of pass it on to you. You know, because of this work that I'm doing with, you know, blogging and and doing these videos and interacting with people on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest, um, you know, but primarily Facebook, I've made so many connections, um, you know, in, in the short, relatively short amount of time that I've been doing it that have brought so much to my life already, you know, and, and as well, I'm experiencing that people are reaching out to me and I'm bringing something to their life and it's so powerful to me. I love that. And I want to, I want to put into context for you why that's so valuable and important to me. I've shared, you know, in previous videos that, you know, for 14 years I worked with, um, you know, very damaged kids in different settings like juvenile halls and group homes and most of those years as a therapist and it was great work and I loved it and I still, you know, I still, I wouldn't trade those years f for anything, um, you know, but uh, what would happen, you know, and especially in the, the last job I had that I held for six years, is so I would go to work, you know, as a salaried employee, I would work more than full time in a very intense environment, um, sometimes you're, you know, being physically assaulted even, or hearing yelling all day, you know, and, and by the time I would get home at the end of the day, and I was also doing, you know, crisis work after hours, and sometimes being called back into work, and, you know, it was very intense, like I said, it's uh, great work, um, you know, but I would come home, and I could just, I couldn't even tolerate, like, dealing with the world, just even getting to the gym was kind of as much as I could deal with in regards to people, it's like my, I was at, <laughs> my threshold, you know, I'm an introvert by nature, and so it was just really a draining field for me to be in, and, you know, I was really good at my job, um, and I say that with confidence and not arrogance, you know, I was very good at it, I know that I helped people, and I helped kids and families, you know, but I, as awesome as I was at my job, and, you know, getting promotions, and my license, and all that good stuff, I was not doing well at home, um, you know, I was coming home, and, you know, out of respect for, the, you know, the kids that I worked with in the agency, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of details, but coming home and really just self-medicating and just kind of numbing out and just kind of getting through it so I could go back and do it again the next day. And so as much pride as I took in, you know, being so, so awesome at my job, I wasn't pulling it off ultimately. And it's been really hard for me to come to terms with that. So, you know, my point is that like, I was not really available. I didn't, my social relationships were very few. Um, and I just really wasn't available to interact with other people outside of those eight to ten hours I was spending at work all day because I was just so tapped out, you know, for lack of a better word. And, you know, also growing up as a painfully shy kid, you know, I, again, kind of being an introvert by nature, I grew up keeping my eyes on the ground and, um, you know, this process that I'm going through, like connecting with people and people who believe in me, like I said, I, they're reaching out to me, I'm getting things from them. Um, people from all over the world. I was counting the different countries, you know, that I've been interacting with, and uh, it's, I've honestly lost track. But, you know, my eyes are off the ground now. Um, I'm looking up and ahead at the, the horizon. I'm, you know, I think when you do that, you limit, you know, when you keep your focus so tunnel vision, you really limit the opportunities that you might encounter otherwise. And so um, this experience is just, it's transforming me, and my life is so much more rich because of it. So, I just want to share that with you today and um, challenge you to be introspective and, and give some thought about how you're spending your day and how you're making yourself available to the world around you and, you know, are, are you missing opportunities to connect and um, you have value, you have a story, you have um, something inside you that is of value to someone somewhere out there. You know, and if, if you're not sharing that, you're, you're, you're missing out and the world is missing out. And so, you know, blogging can be such a fantastic platform for that to connect with so many different people and to bring value and connect and to share. So, um, you know, I'd encourage you to click the link below and, and um, explore this world. And, you know, it just opens up a whole new, my vision is completely transformed because of it. And so if I were to stop Empower Network today, which I'm absolutely not going to do, especially because there's huge things coming in 60 days. Um, but if I were to stop it right now today, the experience that I've already had has been life-changing and totally and completely worth it. So um, that's my encouragement to you. I will see you in the next video. Make it a great, great day.